Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create this product cloth simulation. You can do this with any product or object you want, it's super easy, so let's get started. First, let's add in a simple plane. Press tab to go into edit mode and right click to subdivide it a few times. The more subdivision you give this plane, the more detailed the simulation will be, but also the longer the bake and the simulation will take. So if you don't have such a strong computer, leave it at this. Uh, I will subdivide it one more time. Then you can add in any object or product you have. So let's move this one up. In my case, I only use a sphere to demonstrate the process. All right, what we now have to do is select the plane and add in a cloth modifier, this one right here. If we would press play now, the cloth would fall down. To prevent this from happening, we scroll all the way down to field weights and set the gravity to zero. So the cloth doesn't fall down anymore. Now you select your object, go to to the start of your animation and press I on your keyboard to set a keyframe. Let's scroll to maybe frame 80 and move the object down on the Z axis under the cloth. Press I again to set the second keyframe and now if we play the animation you can see the ball or your object goes through the plane. Now for the animation we want that the product moves fast in the beginning and then slows down in the end. So therefore we go into the graph editor. Let's open up the object translation and we only want to play around with the set location. If your timeline looks also something like this, super stretched out, you can press control and middle mouse button click to scroll it together and then you can zoom in to see the curve a little bit better. All we have to do now is move this curve down because this implies that the animation starts fast and then slows down in the end. So if we look at it, we have a fast beginning and then it slows down. As always, play around with the sliders until you find the setting that works best for your scene. Maybe this is not good. We have one the fast start and then slow it down. Boom. Maybe even faster. Down. Perfect. Good, now that we have the animation, we want the sphere to interact with the cloth. So let's select the sphere and add in a collision modifier. If we press play now, you can already see something is happening. It looks already super cool, but we can do some tweaking. First thing that we can see is that the collision starts before the object actually hits the target. Therefore, select the object and reduce the outer and inner thickness to as slow as possible and up the damping to one. If we go back to frame one, to, so to reset the simulation and press play now, we can see the object gets way closer to the cloth. Good, another problem that we have is that the cloth falls faster down than the object in the end. Therefore, I found out a simple solution. We have to activate the pressure setting in the cloth. But we don't want the pressure to start from the beginning because if we apply the pressure effect in the beginning, you can see this is happening. The cloth already goes up from the start and goes super crazy. That's why we have to keyframe it. So let's put the pressure again back to zero and let's start the animation. And let's say around frame 16, the cloth isn't at the ball anymore. So let's go to frame 15, something like this, and hit I on the pressure setting. Let's go up a few frames and put the pressure to maybe let's say 0.5 for now. Hit I again to set a second keyframe and then let's look at the simulation. And as you can see the cloth goes up but it's still a little too late so let's move those two keyframes a little bit in front and maybe a bit closer together and let's look at it again. At this point just play around with the settings. All right, this looks this looks quite good. You can see that the ball goes in and the cloth goes up. And maybe we don't want to have the pressure effect that much anymore in the end. So let's go maybe to frame 25, set a keyframe for the pressure. Let's go a few frames up and let's lower the pressure to maybe 0.1. Set another keyframe and let's look at it again. Okay, still way too much, so let's reduce this one. As you can see in the end, the cloth folds into each other, so it doesn't have collision in itself on. We can activate this by going to collision and activate self-collision. And now let's look at it again. 
and you can see the cloth won't go into each other it just will bounce off of the the other parts now to get this cloth a little bit smoother right click shade smooth by angle and we can also add in a subdivision modifier subdivision surface and there we go we have a super smooth cloth simulation and as always go into the cloth settings and play around with the tension compression shear and bending this will make your cloth way more detailed and personalized i always just boost this up maybe to the limit so let's say bend, uh, bending to 10 and see how it's happening so the cloth is way smoother i don't want that let's so let's put it to a super low value let's see it, it again all right we have a little bit more details in it i don't want the cloth to be that stiff so let's put the tension to one and see how it looks maybe that's too much huh? not even that much nice looks actually cool and this is the whole process i always do just play around with the settings until you find the one you like in the video i showed you in the beginning with the jbl headphones you can see i have this rock texture that looks kind of 3d-ish and then goes into a cloth you can also do this just simply add this rock texture to your plane and and the rest works exactly the same if you want to know how to get this 3d displacement effect on your textures check out this video right here there i explain everything all right thanks a lot for watching everyone i hope you could learn something today if you have some questions write them in the comments and i see you the next time peace out